What is this? I'd hold my tongue if I were you. You know exactly why you're here. I don't even know where here is. You're in my garage, where there are no windows, a single locked door, and just the two of us. This is crazy. You're crazy. I'm a straight-A student and I'm on the football team. I haven't done anything wrong. Is that what you told yourself when you raped my daughter after the Halloween party? That you weren't doing anything wrong? Tell me, somewhere in your drunken haze, you must have thought of some justification. R rape your daughter? What are you talking about, rape your daughter? I haven't raped anyone. You know what I do for a living, Nick? I don't even know who you are. I'm a psychiatrist. What, did the psychos rub off on you or something? I've always been the one to do the listening. Hearing people complain about their wives or bank accounts for an hour. Now it's your turn to listen to me. Because of my work, I know ways to break you down so far that you will never be able to look in a mirror again without feeling the pain of a thousand wives or bank accounts. Yeah. And what do you want from me? I don't want anything from you, Nick. I just want to know that you suffered. You know, your roommate happens to be a good friend of my daughter's, and he told us about the way you treat women. Chad told you that? I swear, when I see him, I'm gonna... You're gonna what? Hurt him? Kill him? You will never touch another person who isn't wearing orange while I'm alive. In my experience, women's troubles tend to stem back to uh, maternal issues. Tell me, Nick, was your mother a whore? Shut up. Did she have to commit unspeakable acts in the back valleys just to make the rent? Shut the fuck up! Yes, Nick. I did some digging about you and your family. Your father was an alcoholic too, wasn't he? <laughs> like you would even know. Your father could be any one of 30 men that I've heard about. You're not gonna break me, man. You're not gonna break me. It appears I've already begun to break you, Nick. After the police investigated your dorm and found Amy's blood in the carpet, I decided to dig a little deeper into the place that she was found. In the bathroom next to the common area, I found this ring. That's not mine. I keep mine in this case. Amy's blood was found in you and Chad's room, and Chad is not an athlete. People are always fucking around. Somebody could've easily gotten a key. Bullshit. Not without you knowing, they would've gone to their own room. I didn't rape your dog, I have proof! I didn't do it. I didn't rape her. Liar! No amount of proof is gonna make me admit to something that I didn't do. But you did do it, you piece of shit. I know I'm right. But what if you're wrong? The guy who really raped her would still be out there. But what are you doing? No, uh, man, stop. I didn't do it. I didn't rape her. Yes, this is Michael Serratis. The man who raped my daughter is broken into my home. Well, I managed to find him to a chair in my garage. And he's admitted to the garage. Yes, I do. And come quick. I don't know how much longer I can stand being here with him. Hey, Dr. Shredis. Heard about what happened. Looks like I'm living on my own for now. How are you holding up? Well, Chad, I've got to go down to the police station. Tomorrow they want me to uh, answer some questions. Hey, cool, you found Matt's ring. Matt? No, that's Nick's ring. Oh, Nick kept, Nick kept his in his box. He was so afraid to get his dirty. So who the hell is Matt? I borrowed this ring from him so I could use it for my costume at the Halloween party. So glad, so glad you found it. He was pissed. Well, uh, I'll catch you later, Dr. Shredder. No, uh, I gotta go, alright?